This week on Muscle Cars and Hot Rods, we're going to introduce you to the two-for-one Mustangs project. And we'll get you caught up on some of the projects that have been happening in the shop. Okay, people, what I've got sitting behind me is the two-for-one Mustangs project. It's a little bit late to be introducing this project to you, but let me get you caught up on what's happening. Okay, when this Mustang came into photo finish, he was just looking for an exterior paint job. It looked like it was in decent shape, and it had a pretty nice original restoration done on the interior, and then the motor that was in it was original but always started up and ran pretty nice so he had heard the owner had heard that there was some rust in the car and when we put it up on the lift the floor was rusted extensively from front bumper to back all the shock mounts all the floorboards were just gone and people just put uh, stop signs and such in the floor an old client of ours happened to have one of these Mustangs for sale and it was in really nice shape. The bodywork was really, um, actually there was no bodywork done, but it was all in decent shape. So we're calling these the two for one Mustangs because we're taking everything nice that was out of that car and putting it on this car, thus giving the car an exterior restoration with a decent interior and uh, good starting and running car so that's what's happening you can see that we've got the jams all painted on the car the bodywork is done and in primer and right now we're doing the interior the steering column will get painted we'll switch over the steering column and put the entire dash back in the car right here on the ground is the original uh, air box from the car I'm gonna go ahead and put a new heater core in it and then uh, all the gaskets are in decent shape so we'll put those back up in the dash the terrible thing about hell is that when you're there you can't even tell as you move through this life you love so Okay, we're back on the two for one Mustangs project. We got the 66 Ford Mustang all final sanded. It took uh, Al and I about two days to sand everything down and uh, got a couple little various parts. We just gave it a bath. We're going to let it dry out, then we'll begin masking it for its paint job. Here's one quick look at it again. As you can see, the car is all jammed. The doors have been lined up with the quarters and the fenders. All the black trim is painted, and we've got it all final sanded. We wet sanded it with 400 and then went back over it with wet 600. Seems how it was a color change. We had to change the color of the trunk as well. Hey people, it's Wednesday afternoon, and I thought I'd give you a quick shop update. Uh, standing over here behind me, is projects two for one Mustangs. We can see that it is fully sanded now, ready for paint, and we've begun to mask it. We'll probably put this baby in the booth tomorrow, but here you can see how we mask it. Now you remember that we shot the jams before, and what I've got it here is masked off so that I can give it one nice coat of clear when I'm shooting the rest of the car and then we won't have any tape lines. Same thing with the trunk. Now on the 69 Dart we've run into a little bit of an issue in the roof. In the back section of the roof here there's a pretty major bird bath and when we started beating that out we thought we'd better go ahead and strip it. So we stripped the whole damn roof skin and you can see that it's just completely rusted out. This is probably going to need a new roof skin. 
So I went ahead and pulled off all of our trim. We'll pull the glass, melt out the lead joints, and we've got to locate ourselves a used roof skin in nice shape. Good luck to us. If anybody knows of one, give us a call. Now behind the dart, you can see a 57 Thunderbird. And where this is at is we took it up to Ready Strip in Tempe, had it completely dipped and stripped. This baby came back to us in bright, shiny new metal. We then proceeded to sand it down with a DA with 80 grade paper on it to bring that metal up to a nice shine and sealed it with one coat of epoxy primer and two coats of Glazrich dry sand primer. Here are the products. This is the epoxy primer I use. This is the dry sand high build primer. Now I've got a couple of messed up panels on this. So let's uh, check it out. Maybe one of you guys can locate the stuff for me. I'm looking for nice shape used panels. And what I need is this front apron right here. And of course I replace all my panels at the factory seams. I need this front panel, the inner structures, and let's see if we can shine a light on this fender. I want to replace this fender. Okay, this isn't going to come across on YouTube all that well, but if you can take a gander in the light every once in a while, you can just see that this fender has been pummeled throughout here. I don't mind trying to fix that, but if I can replace it, I'll be much happier with something that was never beat up. And then, of course, the fender on these Thunderbirds gets melted in back here with lead and here. And like I was saying, I like to replace all my panels to the factory seams. But this Thunderbird is in great shape and it's going to be an awesome project. Chassis is already rebuilt with the suspension and brakes. Uh, motor and transmission have already been gone through. And I guess it's looking like paint needs to start happening so this guy can finish up his project. I'm going to take this opportunity right here to end this video. Be sure to tune in next time. Maybe we'll have some candy apple red on that 1966 Ford Mustang. Uh, other than that, I got a couple tricks up my sleeve I think I might pull out, but who knows. Catch you next time. So you just go on, all the ready is full.